Yeah, because of his name, his surname Bolt, people associated with lightning, Bolt of lightning, Bolt flashes, you know, Bolt sprints away. Because his name was very easy to use to describe, just the adjectives were easy because of his name Bolt. Everybody was talking about him. Because the mere fact is that people thought that the Americans had the best runners at that age, and he beat all of them out of sight. And he was doing it at 15 years old. You know, people were saying, this is a world beater. But I've never seen anybody as young do as well as he did so early. That race won him instant national recognition. Overnight, Bolt became the new star of Jamaican sprinting. The Jamaican Boys and Girls Championships, better known as the Champs. Described as the world's finest talent spotting event, this inter-schools competition has been putting young Jamaican athletes to the test for over 100 years. Every school in Jamaica puts forward its most promising students who come to Kingston to compete in front of an audience of 50,000 people. Bolt arrives at the champs to meet his biggest fans. Usain ran in the champs when he was 16. He won the 200 meters, and then, running in driving rain, knocked more than a second off the Jamaican record in the 400 meters. to win the class one quarter, takes it, Mines is second and Glenn goes the flash time, 45-4, the same bolt, too much for everyone at 45-4, a new champs record in the class one 400 meters. Usain ended his 2003 season as one of the world's top 10 athletes in the 200 meters. Foreign sponsors and American colleges began queuing up to sign him. Just before he left William Nib, you know, a lot of those letters comes in the mail to us from university in the States, and I think some was from Germany too. I was really close to my mom. I've never really lived, lived for long away from my parents, more than like what, a week, maybe a weekend. I was always with my parents, so for me to go live somewhere else by myself, that was going to be hard, so for me, I didn't want to go. We decided, parents, that he's too young to be on his own overseas, and I, I, I followed tracks, and then I realized that quite a few of those people who went abroad lost in the system because they overworked them to, do, to run their championships, and I didn't want that. Instead of going overseas, Usain chooses the High Performance Athletic Center in Kingston. For a teenager from a small village, it's still an enormous leap. It was really hard knowing that he was so young, moving into Kingston, not having a mother around. At least he didn't have any women around at the time. We know that we have to put him, get a helper for him. And so, you know, you don't know what the outcome would be. It was really challenging for me. Life changed rapidly for the young star. He signed a sponsorship deal worth tens of thousands of dollars and hired himself an agent. He was soon appearing on the cover of an international magazine and getting a taste of life in the media spotlight. Quiet on the road. Speed it. Rolling. And action. Let go. Stand. 
Stick, 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 stick. Go. But Usain remained focused on his next sporting challenge, the Olympic Games in Athens. On the 11th of April, 2004, Bolt shatters the 200 meter junior world record. To this day, he remains the only junior to run the race in under 20 seconds. 17 years old, Bolt looks set for stardom at the Olympic Games in Athens later that year. But a series of injuries means he is forced to bow out of a major athletics meeting in Kingston, and it's clear he's not fully fit for Athens. But Bolt chooses to ignore advice and takes part anyway. <laughs> 